Hi, my name is Dr. Jim Stepani, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be answering a wide array of topics on training, nutrition, supplementation, hormones, and anything else my subscribers want to hear my take on. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, and share if you find this information helpful. In this video, I'll be answering some common questions I get asked about DHEA. Let's start with what DHEA is and what it does. DHEA, or dehydroepiandrosterone, is a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal glands with small quantities also being produced by the brain and gonads. DHEA is a precursor molecule, or technically a pro-hormone, for the production of other sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. It's the main way that women make testosterone, by converting DHEA into testosterone. Even men who mainly make testosterone in the testicles convert some DHA into testosterone as backup. So DHEA supplements are taken mainly in the hopes of raising testosterone levels. And there are several studies that support this notion. One 2018 study by French researchers reported that young men taking 100 milligrams of DHEA for four weeks experienced a greater than 10% increase in their total testosterone. And young women taking the same dose experienced an almost 800% increase in their total testosterone. Plus, a 2020 review paper involving over 40 studies concluded that DHEA can, in fact, raise testosterone levels at a dose greater than 50 milligrams per day, but appears to work far better in women than in men. But DHEA is not all about testosterone. In addition to raising testosterone, other benefits of taking DHEA include lowering cholesterol levels as well as lowering blood insulin and glucose levels as a 2005 study from Poland reported in middle-aged men taking 150 milligrams of DHEA for 40 days. Studies also show that supplementing with DHEA can raise IGF-1 levels, an important growth factor for muscle growth, as well as boost muscle strength and reduce body fat in older adults. It's even been found to boost immune function, improve physical and psychological well-being, enhance sexual satisfaction, and increase bone density. Next, I'll cover who DHEA is for. Before we can get into the science of who may benefit from DHEA, we first must cover the legal aspects of DHEA and who can legally buy it. Since it's truly a pro-hormone, which are banned in most countries, DHEA is banned in most countries except for the United States. But even in the U.S., DHEA is banned by all sports. So the following advice is mainly for those living in the United States and are not competitive athletes. DHEA is definitely a supplement to consider for those 40 years old and above. Even if it doesn't directly raise your testosterone levels, the multitude of other health benefits it may offer makes it worth a try. But that doesn't mean that DHEA can't help you if you're in your 20s or 30s, especially if you're experiencing low energy, lower sex drive, depression, or brain fog. You see, after you reach your mid-20s, the production of DHEA in the body starts to rapidly decline by about 5% every year. Meaning, you may not need to wait till you're over 40 to see a benefit with DHEA. Last, let's cover how to take DHEA. Supplemental DHEA is typically sold as a capsule or tablet in a 25 milligram or a 50 milligram dose. However, you could find some at an even higher dose. Regardless of the brand you use, I typically recommend trying 50 to 100 milligrams of DHEA twice per day. The bottom line is that DHEA may or may not raise your testosterone levels. However, given all the other benefits noted in studies, it's a supplement that may be worth a try, especially if you're over 40. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, and share if you find this information useful. Be sure to sign up at jimstepani.com and jimsups.com for training, nutrition, and supplement info. I'll be back soon to answer more of these great questions.